Well, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, June the 16th. Glad to have you along for our uh, morning devotion as we continue our walk uh, through the Gospel of Mark. Let's get into our reading today. We're in Mark chapter 4. Uh, we're going to be reading uh, verses 21 to 25. Um, what Jesus has to say here really ties in. It's directly connected to what he has just said. Um, um, you may recall that Jesus shared the parable of the sower uh, and the soils with a crowd of followers, and then he gave um, uh, an explanation uh, to his disciples uh, so they were kind of clear on what he was trying to teach in that particular story. And, uh, of course, the topic of that was listening. It was really... Um, Jesus was really trying to point out that when the Word of God is spoken, there are inevitably pe people for whom, uh, like poor soil, uh, it, the Word just has no impact on them. There's no life change. They don't, it doesn't produce the fruit that God desires. Um, but of course, there is good soil uh, as well. And the disciples, I think, are reflective of that good soil. And so what Jesus has to say by way of follow-up to that parable is specifically uh, for those who are good soil, for those who have uh, come to hear the gospel, hear the word of God, uh, accept it, understand it, and it's now a part of their lives, and it's meant to bear fruit. So let's listen to what Jesus has to say, and uh, then we'll uh, just make a few comments on it. Verse 21, he was saying to them, a lamp is not brought um, to be put under a peck measure, is it? Or under a bed, is it not brought to be put on the lampstand? For nothing is hidden except to be revealed, nor has anything been secret, but that it should come to light. If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. And he was saying to them, take care what you listen to. By your standard of measure, it shall be measured to you, and more shall be given you besides. For whoever has, to him shall more be given, and whoever does not have, even what he has, shall be taken away from him. Now, this is one of those little portions of Scripture that I think uh, there's a temptation to just kind of say, well, I'm not really clear on what Jesus is saying there, so I think I'll just jump over it and go down to the next a couple of parables that he's going to share there. And and um, I certainly understand that temptation, but I think there's, there's a, there is at least one insight here that we can draw um, for ourselves as people who, like the disciples, have heard the gospel, have heard about the kingdom of heaven, have uh, come to believe in who Jesus is, and uh, who are called to be people who bear fruit uh, for the kingdom of heaven. So, um, uh, let's try to dig into this. And so uh, Jesus says, now, you guys, again, uh, you guys have heard. You you are among those who accepted and understand this uh, kingdom message. In fact, Jesus had said uh, previously, uh, back in verse 11, you remember, he says, to you has been given the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to those who are outside, uh, they get everything in parables. So for those who, who are not hearing and responding and accepting and believing the message, um, they weren't getting complete clarity. Jesus was kind of revealing the kingdom in a bit of a mystery, and they had to really think through the things that they heard. <clears throat> but these guys had ears to hear. And so uh, he has a word of instruction for them. And what he says there, um, I think the key is in verse 24, where he says, take care what you listen to. So Jesus is still talking about the importance of listening to the words that he's spoken, listening to the things about the kingdom. Literally, in the original Greek, uh, what that says that is, see what you hear. In other words, in your listening, listen close enough, listen attentively, so that you can grasp and understand these truths of the kingdom that I'm sharing with you, right? And the reason for that is because these guys are the, um, uh, the first of those who are going to be called to be involved in uh, carrying out the mission of bringing the word of God, of bringing the gospel uh, to the world when they would plant the church. And so he's really encouraging them to really pay, pay close attention to the things that 
he's going to teach them, uh, the things that he's going to uh, reveal to them. And to kind of illustrate uh, what he was trying to say, um, Jesus uses a parable. He uses an illustration from everyday life. He speaks about a lamp. He says, you know, when you have a lamp, uh, you don't put it under a basket. That's what a peck measure is, basically uh, a small uh, basket that would have carried or contained grains. You know, you, you don't put that basket over top of it, and um, uh, you don't certainly don't put it under your bed, I guess unless you're looking for something under your bed. Uh, but the idea is you don't put it there because he's talking about the Word of God. He says you put it on the lampstand uh, where it brings light. And so the words that Jesus has been bringing has been sown in their heart. It's like the seed of the Word of God has been sown in their hearts, and it's, it's going to bear fruit uh, for them. But it's also the words Jesus is sharing are, are like a light. He has been revealing to them the things of the kingdom. He's providing some explanation of the things of the kingdom. And he wants them to take those things in and listen very carefully to them again because in due time they are going to be the ones sowing the word. They're going to be the ones shining with the light of God's word so that a crop is produced, so that other people are going to hear that. And God's going to work in their efforts and their ministry to bring salvation to other people, to bring other people to the point of accepting and understanding the Word of God and uh, believing in the Lord Jesus. But at the center of this, Jesus is really just encouraging them to be good listeners, just be really good listeners, to be a good receptor of the things that Jesus is saying. And it was a process for them. You know, they didn't get it all at once. Uh, Jesus would reveal a little bit at a time, kind of along the way, as they were able to receive and understand, and he provided clarity as, as needed. So he wasn't giving it to them all in one lump sum. Um, but through that process, over those, those three years that he, they're walking with him, he's really encouraging them. And they were still early in the ministry here. Guys, I want you to really, I, I want you to learn to listen and really see what you're listening to. Really tune in. Pay attention. Because I want you to grasp. I need you to grasp and to understand the things that I'm revealing to you, that I'm sharing with you. And so when Jesus says, by your standard of measure, it shall be measured to you and more shall be given you besides. Uh, I think what Jesus is really saying here is that this word that I'm imparting to you, that you're hearing and as you understand it, you know, this word that's been sown within you, um, as you sow it, or as you shine with the light of these truths, you know, uh, God's going to work in your efforts to reveal these truths to others. And because of your good listening and your good learning, you know, God's going to use you and he's going to build his church. He's going to draw people to himself. And so, He's got some real advance notice, I suppose we could say, for the mission that he's going to give them uh, later on. But I think the lesson for the moment here is just, again, to supplement the previous lesson, that it's really important that we be good listeners to the Word of God. You know, not to just, you know, read through something like this and say, well, I'm not sure I get that, so I'm just going to move on. You know, sometimes we have to wrestle um, with the things of God, but they're meant to be sown in our hearts. They're meant to be things that we wrestle with and grasp and try to understand because God's going to use us in our generation and we need to be prepared uh, so that he can use us to bring the truth to people, to, to be the sowers of the seed, to be uh, the light of the world, if you will, uh, so that the light that's within the truths that we share has a chance to illuminate others so that they might know the Savior as we do. So uh, be mindful uh, again today of uh, your listening skills when it comes to the Word of God. Let's be good listeners, um, such as to be good learners, uh, so that the Word of God gets planted in us and we're better prepared, better equipped, better trained uh, to be sharers of the Word of God. So let's pray together. God, thank you for the beauty of the day. 
uh, thank you for the beauty of your word uh, for what is revealed here. We, like the disciples, have been called to follow Jesus. Somebody shared the gospel with us, and uh, uh, now we have joined in that great mission uh, to bring the light of truth, uh, the word of salvation uh, to other people who have yet to know uh, your amazing grace and love and forgiveness. And so, Father, I pray that as you look into our hearts today, that you will find within us uh, an ever-growing uh, aspiration to be good listeners, to wrestle with the Word of God, that it might be sown deep in our lives and we would be better equipped to serve you. To that end, I ask you to bless your people and walk with us uh, through this day that you have made. May we be faithful uh, with our eyes fixed on you in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, everybody.